Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be discussing with you guys how I shower, how I do my laundry, and how I use a toilet in Van Life. These were three questions that I got a lot when I moved into this lifestyle, so I thought it would be an interesting topic to cover to all those who are curious and all those who are intending to move into this lifestyle as well and are concerned about it. Before diving into this topic, I just want to say that living in a van or in an RV has its pros and cons, as we all can figure it, and that we have to give up on certain things and luxuries such as the space that we have around us, especially the bathroom or the quantity of things that we can own or even the amount of water and electricity that we can spend in order to have the pros, such as the freedom that living in a van gives you and all the opportunities and experiences that that brings. So yeah, let's just dive into this video. Just like I promised you, I'll show you how I do my laundry, how I shower and how I use a toilet. And the first answer that I want to dive into is from the question of how I use the toilet. This is my toilet. It does the work. On this side, we have a piece that if we push, it'll open that which separates the toilet from the dirty deposit. If we press here, we activate the flush. The water will come out as long as we have water in the water tank. Now, if we go outside for a behind the scenes of this whole situation, we have the dirty deposit. That is not dirty at this point, don't worry. We unscrew the lid and dump everything in one of the dump stations, which exist in all the parks where we have stayed. Now that we already talked about the toilet issue, let's just move to the other topic, that is how I do my laundry. Basically, there's two ways to do laundry. Way number one, super simple, basic, just go to the laundry. It is that simple uh, pretty much in every city and even in some villages that we crossed have laundry services. It costs around 70 euros to clean and dry and depending on how many clothes and things to clean you have, one per month should be enough, at least it is for us. With the exception of towels, which leads us to the second method that is hand wash. You always can wash your clothes yourself and hang them outside. We do that as well, mainly with towels. And yeah, we have a particular cabinet that we use for laundry. So as soon as it starts to get full, we just search for a laundry service. This is something that at least I never do back in Portugal. I always do my laundry at home. So I guess that going to the laundry will be something that I always relate to living abroad. Now, the last topic, how do I shower? So we have a shower in the bathroom. It is small, but more than enough to take a quick shower. We have hot water because we have a Truma system installed, which is basically a boiler that hits the water using the gas we have outside. Then using the battery from the van, the water is sucked and voila. We have a 100 liter water deposit that we can check in here to see how long it takes to run out of water. At this very moment, it is this full, when it gets here, it means that we are out of water. Also, here we can check how full the bathroom or kitchen tanks are. There's also a second option for shower, which I use whenever possible. That is going to a gym or to a tennis court, for example, and use their changing rooms to take a long and hot shower. Sometimes I do sneaking out without them to noticing me. Sometimes I just go for a trial gym day and sometimes it's just pay for a tennis court. Either way, with these options, you'll be able to take a proper shower without spending your own gas. Yeah, these are three things that I had to get used to it. Sometimes I do see them as cons of van life. That's because mostly I just prefer the alternative ways back at home, but I'm not complaining. Like I said, there's pros and cons, and I think that the pros are much more and more worth it. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope it was useful for some of you. If you have any questions or if there's any topic about Van Life that you would like me to cover, just comment in the comment box below and I'll be replying to you all or who knows, even do a full video about it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot. And yeah, we'll see each other in my next video. Bye.